What's up guys, Artilboy here. Today we're doing another video. Today we're going to take a look at the survival knife, which is basically kind of similar to a, of a specific bayonet. So let's begin. So I got this at a, uh, I'm not sure, it was actually at a parade that, uh, so they had like a market at the parade and they had sold knives out there, including a, a uh, crossbow pistol. And this is typically the second knife I own. If you all know, but the first one, which was the Gerber Gerber Profile. In fact, it's not very common noticing. It's not very common because something like this, which this may start the whole survival knife thing. Oh, trust me, we are going to do a video about this guy, about this nostalgic piece. So let's get uh, so. It's basically made of stainless steel, which is very much right on there, right on the blade. Now, for anyone noticing about that, this thing right here, that's actually a copy of the US M9 bayonet. I mean, it is kind of very similar, but the only difference are is this one does not have the little hole to basically put it on the rifle. And just like every survival knives that it comes with, little screwed on, little compass, little compass on inside the blade, little capsule for basically all of your survival needs, like matches, fishing lure, and of course a little sewing kit inside there, some of the will. Which is not bad. And uh, inside there, inside there, that's uh, focus that in there. That's actually the whole tang itself. Believe it or not, there it is, the whole tang. It's basically right in there. The tang is right there. Little tiny square tang, which is not. Well, I think it's looked pretty suspicious out there. A little suspicious over that, so. With the little string that looks like someone must have cut it off out there. So, and of course, the sheath is made of leather. Little brass eyelids for like a paracord to be put on. Little sharpening stone in there, which... It's in the sharpening. I actually put it all with all the sharpening, sharpener stones and stuff like that because uh, it actually broke in half up there. And also secured on a little, on this little, little snap on button out there. It's a belt loop for the, to actually put it on your belt. So, size of the knife. The knife is basically like seven and a half inches. The handle, including its guard, basically of six inches. Actually, yeah, on six inches. And then the overall size is 13 inches. So, let's test this bad boy out.
so the results up there is now this one on the plastic bottle really cut through like it's nothing now for the slashing on this guy it definitely does need some need some strength to actually to strike down the the harder plastic bottle i mean it did went through well not clean cut level but it is basically like it could could take the damage as for the thing itself but for the chopping deal unfortunately it wasn't that strong to take care of like you know you could see like that might be the strength of a thing which and it basically like completely just bent through it so again it could just do well it just needs some it needs some strength to do that it's kind of uh you're so really weird about it is somehow this guy is more durable than than the harbor freight survival knife the you know that survival knife that basically had a bunch of hand basically a bunch of parts on a handle that's uh that's basically pretty embarrassing for the harbor freight harbor freight knife so I give my final verdict of the, you know, of the M9 Survival Knife clone, as I'm going to call it that way, an astounding of basically a 5 out of 10. I could probably could sharp, I could probably need like the strength to do it, but on the other hand, it's just one of those, yeah, sure, it's a clone of all things, but it doesn't mean it's just like a terrible knife, well, as you can definitely know. But when I get my hands on the M9 clone or the real M9 bayonet, I could probably do a full video of these three, doing a comparison between these three. So that wraps up of the of the M9 survival knife clone. I'm Artel Boy, and I'm signing out. I'll see you guys next time.